Hello and welcome to Alex Cooks, the number one cooking show of YouTube. Now, what shall we be cooking today? Well, we shall be cooking some apple and blackberry cobbler. Now, I, I have not heard of this dessert before and I don't know how proficient it is at making shoes as the name would suggest. Um, but anyway, let's get into the ingredients. Now, to make this cobbler you shall be requiring one kilogram of cooking apples peeled, cored and cut into two centimetre dice. 200 grams of blackberries Okay, I might just smash some of them there. 100 grams of demerara sugar. Icing sugar for dusting. Now for the cobbler. 150 grams of self-raising flour. 50 grams of cold butter, cubed, plus extra for greasing. 50 grams of castor sugar. An egg, beaten. And 4 tablespoons of milk. Uh, that is all the ingredients. Let's get cooking. Alright, so our first step is that we've actually preheated our fan oven to 180 degrees. If you do have a non-fan oven, it's, you set it to 200 degrees. I don't know why I just said degrees. Now, the first thing to do is that we're going to start mixing things in our greased bowl. And greased with butter, not oil, because we don't believe in oil in this house. Okay, so we're pouring in the demerara, and then we'll put yes, and then we're going to, uh, if I can actually get the apples, we're going to mix in the apples. We're going to cobble this now, get cobbling. More cobbles here than Coronation Street, eh? There we go, all in the bowl. From the bar, I'm just going to push this aside, put the tray in, and oh look what it is! It's blackberries we picked in August! Now I'm going to put this in with the apples and the demerara, and oh there's still a few left in the, in the bowl. Okay, both look, now he drops a knife, remember don't drop knives kids, don't, don't drop knives, drop beets. Now, we're going to stir this apple and sugar and blackberries together we're going to make something beautiful okay so the mixing process is complete all of the apples and the blackberries are now coated with a healthy coating of demerara uh -huh. and now we're going to get on with making the cobbler part of the blackberry apple cobbler Okay, so now our flour is now in the bowl, all 150 grams of the stuff. Now we're going to put in the butter. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's a little bit more. I'm going to rub it together until, you know, it does form something resembling this weird thing I've never tried before called breadcrumbs. Let's get rubbing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so now we have made the breadcrumbs look like breadcrumbs, even though they're not breadcrumbs. Now, our next step to do is now we're going to add in the rest of the cobbler ingredients. So we're going to put in the sugar. There we go. We're going to put in the milk. Makes a tea strong, makes a strong, lovely mixture as well. And also the egg. Technically, I think the egg was probably the best invention of life ever, since it did allow our common ancestors to leave the oceans. Because back in the olden times, our ancestors had to go back into the oceans to lay their eggs to make more children. But however, the egg was a good invention because there's water in the egg, so you can lay an egg on the land without ever having to go back in the sea. And that's how land life evolved. And we somehow lost our ability to breathe underwater. Why did we do that? They will think of all the lives that would still be here if we could still breathe beneath the waves. Anyway, uh, that's the end of that step. We're going to uh, mix this all together until it looks like a, a wet scone mix. There we go. Okay, just gonna induct it all. Okay, so now our mixture is made. 
I'm now pushing some of this onto our apple, blackberry and demavara mixture and then we're going to until all of it's been cured, well, close to covered I don't think it's going to be exactly covered because it's called cobbler yes I don't know why it's called cobbler, it looks nothing like Coronation Street but hey oh. anyway anyway, but they do look a bit like cobbles anyway anyway, we're just gonna see you when the step is done and here we have our last cobble being put onto the cobbler now we are now going to stick this into the oven for about 30 35 minutes until it's golden on until the dough is golden and the food is bubbling now the cobbler is out of the oven and we shall now sprinkle on the icing sugar and then we shall prepare it for the taste test okay here we go our cobbler has now arrived um, we are now going to review, going to view this now for the taste test. Well, I nearly drooled onto my apron. Um, I'm just gonna get a bit of sponge, get a bit of apple. Everyone likes a, <laughs> everyone likes a bit of apple. Hmm, that's not too bad actually. Um, the fruit was wonderfully tangy, and the uh, you could definitely taste the blackberries, apple, and demerara sugar. Um, the sponge, uh, hold on. <laughs> was wonderfully crumbly. <laughs> Ignore the laughter in the background. Um, yeah. It was a wonderful dessert, and I'm, I hope everyone can enjoy it. Now, if you like this video, do be sure to like it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video on your Facebook and Twitter. And also follow my social media on Instagram, Facebook, and my blog. I shall see you in the next video.